dogs, so many types, so much cuteness. But do you ever just sit down, look around, and not only wonder how, but why there are so many breeds? Why, yes! Yes, I do! Kira, Kira and, and Hannah ask, ask us why. Why? 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 Dogs rock. Start out at the very beginning. Dogs. Belong to the tennis. A genus shared by jackals, dingoes, dogs, and coyotes. It has been found that all dog breeds share a common ancestor, the gray wolf. Although it's hard to tell when and where dogs were first found, many DNA tests have shown that the homeland of dogs was in East Asia, specifically Siberia or China. Many popular dog breeds were first bred in either Europe or America. However, researchers have found out that a few breeds, specifically hairless breeds, have descended from the New World dog. Those specific breeds would have migrated across the Bering Strait with the Native Americans. Humans fed the wolves, domesticated them, and moved them from continent to continent. Eventually, while older wolf species died out, dogs grew into their own new species. So Kira, how can scientists track the lineage of dogs? Both scientists use molecular dating to estimate the age of evolutionary events that occurred. With this information, they can create clades to organize different dogs into their respective breed type. Wait, Kira, it's three o'clock. Do you know what that means? Fun fact time! Did you know that the oldest dog skull found was located in the Goyet Caves in Belgium? It is almost 36,000 years old. Wow, how fascinating. Okay, back to business. Wait, what were we talking about again? We were just about to start talking about the domestication of dogs. There's an ongoing debate whether the wolf found humans or the humans found the wolf. But we are pretty sure the wolf found the humans. Wolves slowly started to evolve into dogs when they started following humans around in hopes to find scraps of food. And as dogs became domesticated, their physical and behavioral traits began to change. Domestication gave dogs floppy ears, wagging tails, and a docile position and behavior. During domestication, dogs' skull, teeth, and paws grew smaller. Do you think they want the treat? I don't know. They might want the treat, but I know what they really want. They want fun fact time! The Paleothic dog was the first place to see a canine who was directly associated with humans with hunting over 300,000 years ago. Wow, how remarkable. Okay, time for the big question. Why? Huh? Why have multiple breeds? Why not just have one? Oh, well the main reason why there are so many different dog breeds is because humans have bred them over time so they can acquire different traits. Dogs are bred for various and specific reasons. To help humans hunt, work, and complete everyday activities. Take a golden retriever for example. Golden retrievers are bred, like their name suggests, for retrieving purposes. Hunters took them along their hunts to retrieve geese and ducks that they shot down. Anna, how are there so many different dog breeds? In the mid 19th century, people started to use hybridization, a process when two different organisms breed and create a hybrid to breed different dogs. As more humans bred dogs, they noticed one key characteristic that they all shared. They all had an incredible sense of interpreting human behavior. Today, there are over 300 50 dog breeds, and those dog breeds arose over the past 200 years. Science rules.